Hello Cedarville faculty, this is Mr. Fahm coming at you with another technology tutorial. Um, I don't know about you, but when it comes to how I do instruction, I used my smart board all the time. Whether it was showing videos, presentations, or using the actual smart notebook software to do all my equations or work, um, I found that I kind of missed that. And now I did a tutorial earlier using Zoom and an app on your iPad called Show Me. Uh, if you have a decent enough tablet, you can connect to Zoom at, through a screen share, and then you could use the Show Me app to do some basic writing. But I found that the Show Me app doesn't have as much functionality as the smart notebook software has. So um, I'm kind of at a loss. I'm like, I really want this functionality. Well. Mr. Bean, Garen Bean, at the high school uh, told me that there is an app, the Smart Notebook app is available on uh, tablets. I'm like, all right, so I'm gonna download that. I'm gonna see what I can do with it. And if you have checked your email recently, you would have seen that Jeremy Wells has uh, renewed the notebook license for another five years. And if you have been totally dependent upon notebook to do a lot of your instruction, well, now we have five more years of this, and it upgrades us to the newer version of Notebook. But um, I started tinkering around with it and found that you can actually link up your tablet to the Notebook software. And that's what this tutorial is going to be today. I'm going to show you how to use a laptop or PC in conjunction with a tablet to do everything that you could do on your notebook software and even reuse old lessons, old notebook files that you have saved and even create new ones that you can save for later on. So what you're currently seeing on my screen is uh, what you can do that I know of with the smart notebook software and a tablet. Uh, you can teach your lessons with Zoom, Screencastify, and Google Meet while working with the Google Notebook software, sorry, while working with the notebook software, uh, you'll be able to draw. If you have a finger or you've got a smart pen, you'll be able to do all the things that you do, draw shapes, highlight things, move things around, erase, add pictures. Um, I don't know if you can play videos yet, but um, if we, when we go back to school, and this is probably like a next year thing, if you can really, really kiss up to your building administrator, maybe you can get a tablet and you will be able to use that in your classroom and be able to like move around, um, open up apps like Kickboard and, you know, uh, rate, rate them, you know, whatever we do, we, we give them their, their ups or downs uh, in Kickboard and then you can, you know, monitor what the students are doing. But you really gotta beg for that tablet. So um, here's what you need to get all of this accomplished. Uh, first of all, you're going to need the notebook software. Uh, we now have a license for five years, so you can uh, up that anytime, get some notifications. Uh, you've got to download an add-on called Notebook Maestro. Uh, you need a tablet that isn't Ms. Brown old. Mr. Bean used his like original iPad one to do this and it didn't work, it's just too old. So I don't know what the age requirement is on your tablet, but I'm using a three-year-old tablet and things work fine. Uh, make sure it's not super, super old. You're gonna need a computer or a laptop. Um, I'm using a PC right now. Uh, this would work at, you know, in your classroom. If you had this at home, yeah, I'm pretty sure a laptop would be just fine. You gotta be on a network. You have to be on your Wi-Fi or your wired network and some kind of finger, whichever one you wanna use is acceptable or a tablet pen. I have one of these cheapies that works uh, just fine. So here's what you're going to do. First of all, you need to download that Notebook 19 software on your computer. Uh, Jeremy emailed us the link to do that, and I'm gonna bring that up right now. There's the email, just click on that link. You're gonna use your, your Gmail login to link this essentially to the school license. And then here's where it's gonna take you. You just download that, it takes a minute or two, um, and the installation's gonna take a lot longer. But then after that, you need to download Maestro. 
Maestro is an add-on that allows you to sync up your tablet to uh, whatever is on your PC screen in Notebook. This doesn't work for other programs. You can't just screen mirror or you know link up to any program on your computer. It only works through Notebook, and that well, that's what we're trying to do. So you download Maestro. Let's close that. All right. Next, you need to download the app onto your tablet. And I'm going to switch my screen, new share. I'm going to mirror. Sorry, this takes a moment. This is not the fastest process. All right, so it's this app right here. This app right there is what you're gonna download. It looks just like our, our smart notebook uh, file to begin with, but uh, we're gonna stop sharing that. Next, you're going to move this out of the way. Uh, you need to open up a notebook file or even create a new one on your laptop PC. The whole point of this is to have your tablet sync up to what is currently on your computer screen in your classroom or at home. It's not the other way around. We're not trying to sync up what's on our computer to what's on our tablet. It's we're trying to do that what's on our PC. You will need to open up a notebook file like the one I currently have or you can even create your own. You will need to go to the tab over here which looks like a puzzle piece. This is our add-ons which you can use for you, know, you can add all kinds of stuff into your uh, your your notebook. But you need to click on Notebook Maestro it's going to generate this QR code. Now I'm going to kick it over to my iPad. Just to show you what you're going to do next. So you'll need to click on the notebook and you're going to want to connect to your smart notebook software. So click on that. It's going to want you to scan the QR code that's currently being displayed on your computer screen. It even gives you a tutorial on what to do. Now, it looks like it's showing you a phone, but I couldn't find smart notebook software on my phone's app store. I don't know. It might be different for different devices. I'm going to dismiss that because I know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to scan that QR code. Now I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Go back to this. I'm going to select connect. It's displaying the device that I want to connect. Once I hit connect, it is now mirroring what is on my computer screen, just smart notebook software and nothing else onto my tablet, which now gives me pretty much all the functionality that I have with Smart Notebook on my tablet. Let me go back to my tablet. I know this is riveting, riveting TV. Uh, this is what it looks like on my tablet. The current PowerPoint, or sorry, the current Smart Notebook software file that's on my screen is now on my tablet and what's nice about this is I can shift slides on my screen on my tablet on my computer screen so now you're seeing what I'm seeing on my tablet you have all the buttons down at the bottom so for example I want to go over here and I want to start drawing uh, anything that I do on my tablet most likely is going to mirror on the computer screen. Uh, we're all familiar with our pins if you've ever used them. Well, you have all the different colors and it takes some getting used to. You have to tap on the screen to make the menu go away, but I can now write and do whatever I need to on my tablet. I'm just coming up with random words. And then I want to change my line style. I can uh, change the colors. I can even change the thickness. Nice thick with three C's. 
Smart. There we go. It's pretty cool. Uh, of course, you have all the other functionality that you have on uh, your computer. I can do calligraphic pen. I'm not going to mess with that. Uh, I just cycle through all of these different options. Highlighter. You can even do the special ones. Crap. There we go. Peace. So fun. And love. Because hippies. The erasing I have found is kind of difficult at times. You, it's not as, you know, it, it's pretty intuitive, but sometimes they just don't work the way it's supposed to, especially when you're trying to delete an object. I can enter in, for example, shapes. And let's go, let's go the X. So whatever I'm doing on my tablet is mirroring on the smart notebook software. And what's more is that you can save what you do here or you can save it on your PC. But when it comes to deleting, you, know, you, can't, you can't erase the shape. It doesn't give you that option. What you have to do is you have to select it. Whoops. And then you have to delete it this way. Sometimes I don't know, it doesn't always work. But you can also add images. Uh, you saw a file earlier of my daughters. Now, here's the thing. You're currently seeing a file of my daughters on my iPad. But what you're not seeing is this on the computer screen. Uh, you cannot send a file that you bring up on your tablet to your computer or laptop. It doesn't work that way. It only you only mirror what is on your screen, your computer to begin with. So you can't open it up here and send it to that. So I'm only seeing this. Uh, my kids in class would not be seeing that. And if you're wondering, like, what in the world you're seeing, uh, I took my daughters, I cut them in half, and then I created a mirror image symmetry with their faces. So they look a little different. And I was like, oh, it looks so weird. But if I want to go back to what I see on my computer screen, the file that I brought up, I have to go through it again. I have to rescan the QR code. Yes, yes, I know what I'm doing. And then connect. So that's it. That's my tutorial on how to connect your tablet using Smart Notebook software to the Smart Notebook software on your computer. Um, I don't know how this works with Chromebooks. Uh, I've looked for smart notebook software stuff and uh, I don't see it at all on the, uh, the Google store, the Play Store. Uh, but there is you know, online cloud functionality between the programs. You might be able to use that instead. Let me stop sharing. Um, if you're you know, curious about it, please go out and uh, do the research and make a video like this and show everyone what you can do. But I like this. This is what I'm going to be doing in the future. I have all these resources that I've saved up over the past 10 years of using my smart board. Uh, so I will be able to use that now with, uh, with this online video and my tablet. So if you have any questions about this, just contact me at any time. Um, I'm doing nothing but sitting in front of my computer, so I should be able to respond fairly quickly. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you didn't like it, then don't watch me. All right, see you later. Stop. And before someone sends me a Facebook message, after I made the video, I noticed that I spelled requirement wrong. There's an E in there. I caught it. Don't harass me.